Hey everyone, it's Samantha from Top Dog Tips. This is my Beagle Molly, and today we are trying out the Canine Sports Sack Rover. I've tried out other Canine Sports Sack models in the past, but they're all made for smaller dogs. The problem I had was that Molly was just above the weight requirement for their other backpacks. So thankfully now they've come out with the Rover. This backpack is uh, built sturdier, and it's designed for dogs weighing 30 to 80 pounds. Most dog backpack carriers on the market are designed for dogs much smaller than that, even less than 30 pounds even. Typically, once in a while, you can find one for dogs weighing up to 40 or 50 pounds, but 80 pounds is really unheard of for a product like this, so I was really impressed to see the Canine Sports Sack unveil this new model. Um, you can see how Molly sits in it. She's sitting uh, on her butt here and then her uh, belly comes up and her paws come out the top here. There's holes, leg holes on either side for the paws. Um, and then there's also a hood attached here, which you can flip up and that's to protect your dog from sun, rain, any elements uh, like that. So I'll show you a close up look at this backpack, but I wanted to show you what it looks like on. Um, you'll see how sturdy and well made it is. It also has the waist belt, the chest strap. It's really made to carry and support the larger weight of the pack. The first thing that I want to show you up close here, here's the hood. Uh, so if you'd like to put it over for your dog, you can do that and adjust it um, accordingly. If you're hiking on a fair weather day, the hood is also removable. And I just wanted to show you how easy it is to get your dog in and out of the pack. So you can see Molly's obviously in it right now. Uh, there is this collar strap. So I'm going to unbuckle that and that's easily adjustable for different size dogs. And then there's a zipper that goes the entire length of the pack. So Molly was sitting down in here on the base. Now she's gonna climb out. Whoops, go ahead, baby. And you can tell she has no aversion to the pack whatsoever. Um, she's definitely comfortable sitting in here. And if I show you the pack open, you can see the holes for the front paws to go through right there. Um, you can also see inside the clip on the inside to hook your dog's collar, um, and that's for safety reasons. If for some reason your dog were to um, get out, he would still, or be able to wiggle his way out, he would still be attached, so he wouldn't be able to climb completely out of the pack, which is uh, definitely helpful. Now, this is made with Outlast temperature regulating fabric. You can see there, um, it's breathable for your dog, as well as being breathable for you, uh, if you've ever hiked with a heavy pack, you know that uh, the added weight makes, uh, kind of presses it against your back and holds the heat in. So um, here is a Velcro strip and you can get a name patch made for your dog if you'd like to do that to put on there. And then below, this is the compartment where the compartment stops where your dog sits. Below that, there's another uh, small pocket here where you can put supplies. There's also, um, I'm going to flip it over to show you the straps. Now the straps are very well padded and there's breathable mesh there too. You can see the breathable mesh in the back and there's padding there as well to keep you comfortable with that added weight. Um, and then on the waist strap, that's fully adjustable as well. And there's side pockets on either side. Um, some little elastic loops here where you could hook things or uh, stick anything in there that you needed. Another pouch on the other side. So there's plenty of storage space in the pack itself. Um, on the side panels, you can see the little drawstring mesh pouch here. There's also zippered extra ventilation if your dog uh, needs a little bit more if you're hiking on a really hot day and your dog might need a little more ventilation. Same thing on the other side with the other pocket there. Um, so there is plenty of storage in the pack, the Rover pack itself. But if for some reason you need more storage, it also comes with this detachable um, storage bag and it has a little hydro port in it as well. Uh, you can see that on the back if you wanna put like a Camelback or a hydro pack in there. So there's a front pocket and then 
the backpack unzips for more storage. Now, the great thing about this is that it attaches right to the back of your Rover pack, so you can take it with you really easily and include that added storage. Um, you can use the Canine Sports Sack Rover bag as a backpack, as a pack, if you're going on a backpacking trip without having to put your dog in it. Obviously, um, it's made to hold up to 80 pounds. There's tons of storage in there if you don't have your dog with you. So it's kind of a two in one if you hike with your dog sometimes and uh, leave your Fido at home once in a while. It's good for both of those things. So this is a really versatile pack. Again, it's the biggest pack or the pack that um, I should say carries the most weight from Canine Sports Sack. And really on the market, there's not much that's comparable to this one that I have found. Um, the bottom here is made of a really durable, um, almost like rubber type material. So, uh, you know, if you set it down on the trail or anything like that, you don't have to worry about tearing open the bottom of it. I am really, really happy with this pack. Again, as I said, I, I was really pleased to see Canine Sports Sack step it up and listen to consumers. You know, we needed a bag for uh, bigger dogs or dogs that weighed a little bit more, even like Molly, she's a little stockier. Uh, dogs like um, Bulldogs, French Bulldogs, you know, they're stockier, they weigh a little more. Even though they fit the size requirements of a lot of carriers, they don't fit the weight requirements. So um, this one, you know, definitely covers that. Dogs 30 to 80 pounds. It is a little bit more expensive, which I did expect. Um, one, it, it's made with really great quality materials, has a lot of those necessary features that you want in a hiking pack for your dog. Um, plus, you know, it supports more weight and it also is made more durable so that it can support that weight. Uh, so $179.95 for the Canine Sports Act Rover. Uh, of course, it's pricey, but if you're really looking for a high quality dog backpack, they're all gonna run you anywhere between 125 and 200 or maybe a little bit more than that. So um, it's at the higher end of the range, but it's definitely made with higher quality materials. So I expected that. If you have any questions about the Canine Sports Act Rover backpack, feel free to email me. Thanks for watching this video review.